Hello folks, and welcome back to Corp Farm. Here we are, we've got some produce that we need to sell, so most of these are going to be the last of the physical pallets we had. Obviously at the moment we're selling everything to sell, so we should grab a bunch of bits of everything here and there, so... Now let's go and sell, so we need to go to the farmer's market. So yeah, we've got a little bit of wool, some strawberries... And a little bit here and there, so just a bit of a mixture bunch, nothing really specific. But Andy, it's all going to help us with the bank account because we need to pay 600 grand debt off, we need to do buy equipment in that down the road as well. So all that is going to help us to fund our next ventures. So yeah, even though we're yeah, we've got over a mil at the moment. Yeah, that doesn't doesn't add a wood mass at all. Oops, I've got to turn times back up. Uh, you know what? Let's run time to three for the time being. That's because I have set the months now to two week months or two day months. Rather than the usual four. The reason for that is just encouraged a bit of progression in that rather than sort of being a bit stagnating in that in a way. But yeah, we've got a lot of things to do. We need to line 10 and 6. Uh, 54, 106, and 107 is ready to cut right now. Get those cuts, then we get those mulched, and. Get those mulching. Oh yeah. The prep work, oh, that's going to be fun to do. But obviously, I won't do time lapses of every bit of prep work now, because you've all seen me do my prep work now many times already so a lot of it I will just skip through it but for the time being we can sort of stick and see where we go from here so I'm not sure we can go for the hedgerows so I think I'll use this for the lineman actually since we're over here I leave this up here somewhere. I'll we'll grab that because we need to top up the cows' straw, I think. So if we go to. Yeah, they've even got a thousand of yourself, so I doubt that will last the night in that. Yeah, how's our flower production doing? I think we should run out of body by now. Yes, we have. So there we go, we'll turn that off. Also the wheat will run dry so very soon, so how much is in there at the moment? 18,000 years. I will save that for the bread making. Yeah, so it's here for the bread making. And yeah, we'll transfer some stuff in a bit. At the moment, like how much flour is that consuming? 4,000 years a month. Uh, 400, yeah, so still got another three months or so, three and a half months. About three months, I would say. So, yeah, putting a fire for the time being. And obviously, come time when it does need more flour, we will have a bunch of wheat fields on that. Yeah, because we've got wheat, barley, oats, and all that. But yeah, also, I noticed we need to put some weed application down. So if we have a look here on the PDA, so go to our crops, turn off fertilizer, turn on weeds. We've got weeds growing in 91 and 100. And I'm going to redo this field. I'm not sure what's happening with that field, so I'm going to get that redone before we do any kind of work on that. Uh, no, just of weeds here and there. But yeah, apart from that, it's all looking good, so we'll get 91 and 100 weeded as well. But yeah, besides from that, not much else. So yeah, let me take this back to the farm. And we'll get the cows topped up with the straw. And here we go, so let's go and top these up. Just 
should be a trigger point somewhere. Right? Outside, Shrew need to reverse back in. I think. Turn off. There we go. Theory is on the wrong side, but it's going in. And yeah, but it's nine thousand the years. I could do with another load of TMR. So let's go and grab that. So we've got 386,000 years left of TMR, and yeah, that was going to last us a, a while, I think. And I think what I'll do next is, once we've run out of TMR, just give the cow silage, because it's 90% effective, and we can easily get a grass field, or we'll convert one of our fields to grass fields. Because we've got one of them, and that is alfalfa. And that is taking a while, that's going to be a couple of months out. But once that's done, we can convert one of them to a silage from the grass fields for silage. Or, if you want to, even though, you know, we've got the bunker side plant still, maybe do another corn field. I know we're doing corn and sunflower. In between, well, where 55 and 109 is, so that's going to be corn, and like 52, 4, 3, and 106, 107. That's going to be sunflower. So, in the time lapse episodes, two episodes ago, uh, can't remember, was it exactly reason? Oh, yeah, oils in that. Oils in, not cereal, that's no mess out. I'm sure there was a reason why I said it was going to do sunflower and corn. Yeah, I think it was. Actually, yeah, okay, yeah, corn oil, right? Yeah, sunflower to get sunflower oil, so then we can have stuff for the potato processing plant. However, that does require to have potatoes, and we can plant potatoes in May, so. Do we have a... Uh, I was thinking, so, we've got so much work to do in May. And that's going to be the problem. At the moment, I'll prioritise getting all the vegetables in. All the new root crop stuff and that in. So I do want to actually use that deep wolf um, planter and that, or seed or whatever. Well, well, yeah, use that, but more importantly, the harvester itself. I think I haven't seen no other locals planting any vegetables in that. Maybe next month we'll see some. But who knows? So, yeah, we'll get these cows fed. Now we need to. Oh, they're loving that. They're very excited for their food. <laughs> there you go, cows. Yeah, boo to you too. But, <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, we need to do the lime in. We need to get that done now. Haven't seen anything yet, so we do need to roll. Actually, what? We can detach that. And then we'll just scoot like so. Actually, once we're here, I'll get these quits hopped up, so. That's gonna be. Right. No, no, not quite. 11,000 litres. And how much milk have we got? Have a little look here. Oh, not too bad. 4,800 litres. So, yeah. Let's get the lime spreader on. Do some lime in. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
straight, we have been very busy since we last seen each other, so... Yep, got the diamond done. Got the weeding done. And then I thought, start doing the mowing. And boy, has that taken for ages to do, because... We had all of these to mow in that, so we got it all mowed. We're just on our last field now here by the green mill. I've bought our service pickup over because we need to one fill up some of our equipment here. So there we go. And also we need to just do some little quick bit of maintenance in the fields. So yeah, the plan for these is obviously there's all gonna be hay. And first we've got plenty of hay disasters for the remainder of the series, but I just thought heck it, just do a bunch of hay story. We've already had one full load of three bells in storage. Now I've got a second three load. And whatever we get from these fields. So if you've got like and the resolve A from this. Go. Now, I'm not hop into you. Hop into here. I'll fill you up. Somehow. There we go. Just move you out of the way. So here's 440 litres left. Bats. But yeah, so I'll be doing some thinking as well with the fields now, and we will do some flower in some of these fields. So a little glitch I've just seen. I don't know, but yeah, be thinking about it, and yeah, we'll do some flower. Makes sense. However, we need potatoes. And we're in May now, so has in one and planted potatoes. 76 has. Apart from that, I can't see no other potato fields. So I'm thinking we do some potato fields. So I'm thinking 107, 52, 54, and maybe 53 and 56. I should leave 56. Then all of these will be sunflower. And for this area and 106, I'm tempted to leave that as grass because I think what we can do is start producing silage, silage bells, store them like we're doing the hay bells at the moment. And yeah, then just feed them to the cows. Obviously, for the potatoes, we need a potato planter and that. And we've got that, so that is all at the store. Also, I think I've gone in, did I bought something else or at least something else? We'll have a look there in a sec, but. So, yeah, I just thought I'd quickly jump back in. Just give an update on what we're doing, so yeah. I'm going to finish this off off camera a sec. And then we'll come back and get everything loaded up, put in storage, and then see what we've gone and borrowed. But you know what? First of all, let's go and get all these bells unloaded. And I think these bells here are a bit of thing to that little storage area we had. And there is one grass bell here, and amongst the other part, there is another grass bell. Get a bit greedy off between mixing the grass and hay. Try to get a bit, a couple of extra litres of bells. So yeah, we will park this here. Hop out. Actually no. Let's turn all that off. And yeah, so we've been busy. That is another three bells in here. And we should have another room for one, two, three, four. So sixteen. Plus six, that is twenty-two, twenty-three, and then maybe another row of sixteen. But yeah, it's gonna be a bit difficult. And actually, the grass 
I will leave that on so we can wrap these. Get them size bells. And then, yeah, we can perhaps use those to feed the cows at Court Farm. Because, yeah, the beef cows here, hey, is perfectly fine. Don't really need TMR or anything like that. But, yeah, even for the dairy cows, because if we look at the feed, we can see if we go to our animals, so pork from cows, so the size for the cows is 90%. I would have given them hay if it was 80%, otherwise, yeah, so I ain't gonna give them. And yeah, some of these cows are getting old, like these 21 cows here, they're approaching 30 months, so come six months, time we have to get rid of them. We'll get some younger ones in. But our beef cattle, they're 50 months old. They still got another, well, pretty much double the time left in, so. Actually, you know what? Let's do a little time lapse here. Let's get all this done. And yeah, we're headed to the ship because I bought a straw blower for the. Obviously for the straw gnats, because the TMR wagon, I do want to just keep, keep that for TMR. Even heck, I mean, may buy another one. Uh, you know, for one for down here. Because really, we should be cutting these bells up when we... Oof. Ooh, I did not... That was a bit glitchy there. Yeah, when we give the hay to the cows here, we really should be shredding them, so... Maybe look at another one. The ends well. We can harvest this around the corner. Starting harvest in June with some of our fields, and that's the thing. This combine here, absolutely lovely. No problems whatsoever. And even the header that's over there. The problem is because we've got new fields like 14, 93, and that. And even get get access to five fields, five and that. That 30 meter header ain't gonna fit for those gates. So I could try, and I will try, but I think for this year we may have to lease a combine. Obviously, ideally, I'd like to own everything outright, but that's why I'm not sure long term what we're gonna do with those fields and that, where we sell them after the year and that. I won't just like harvest them and then sell them, I will turn them over, put a fresh crop in. Fertilize, roll, and all that other stuff. Well, uh, yeah, that's the thing we can look at later on. But yeah, let me get this finished off, put it away, and then I'll meet folks at the store. So a little short time lapse there, got the bells moved over and put away. We did put some extra bells that were just couldn't feel the shed anymore, so I put into a little storage area. And the grass bells, we wrapped them so they'll be ready this time next month. 
and then as it went, start feeding them to the cows. But yeah, so let's have a look here. We've got the Coon Primer 1570M, and this is a bell shredder. So if we go down here under animals, it takes square bells. Well, pretty much eight bells, but it says two bells. So if we have a look here, I think it's, yeah, so L1 and right analog stick, so that up means it goes down, and L1 in down is that, and press L1 and left and right on the analog stick, that just spouts, so that means straws will come out on the right. Sure, fool about that because we we'll need that means we'll have to reverse it in. Unless we've got any other straw blowers. Now, again, that's right. That's one we've got. Fair enough, we could have just used a TMR wagon. You know, just shove a bell in there. Oh, well, we could have done that. was an option for us, but. Yeah, I thought actually use a proper straw blower now, like. It's one of those things I've always neglected that with my series now. Just again, there's no particular reasons, but just trying to use sort of realistic equipment to have a realistic stuff. I know we're using like 20 meter rollers now, and is that realistic for the UK? No. If it was like on Alma, Missouri, then yeah, of course, that'd be something different, but. That would perhaps be one thing I'll do for my next SP series. Um, in terms of Aussie just started finished survival. And that will be sort of semi realistic to a degree. I say realistic as much as possible, but in terms of equipment, it's gonna be like easy space, so I think what we can do with that series is progress it either with that series or once court farm performance out even no miss and even the base just stick to doing two series for the time being not two and three because it does create issues with trying to get videos up and out but yeah once we've done court farm go to perhaps like an American map and just do something like a realistic series and that uh, that's an option but anywho we're at the farm now and we've got all of our equipment up here, ready to start doing the seeding for the potatoes. So yeah, it's so over here, so if we have a look. So the, the L Shredder is what we own. What we lease is the Brimmy 6 meter multi planter, so that will do potatoes. And even poplars, now we may look at poplars later on, but we weren't going to do that for the time being. Now since potatoes, they have like furrows, I thought we could use the ridger in that. Obviously, it's not required to do it, but it'd be a nice little addition in that. And yeah, we'll deal with that in a sec. What we'll do for now is get this up with the straw in that. Because these are some huge bells. The thing was, these are the 80,000 year bells. Have a little look. So, yeah, so it's just under the shed being stored in fermenting. So, yeah, we can fit two bells in here. So, there we go. Shove that in. Now, grab this one. So yeah, we've got no other use for sure. We're not going to do any more TMR now. I think in the future, all we'll do is just silage for the cows here at Court Farm. And as we'd be doing for the cows at Stonebridge, just give them. Uh, what's it? Hey. But yeah, so cows could do with a little topping up of straw. So you'll see if. Oh, that mix was in the of the way I ate it. Yes, it is. So, can we just boop out the way? Ah, uh, no. Let's 
let's just go and just quickly move out of the way. And yet, you may see like there's been some sort of little cuts and that, like and with this bit just now. With obviously, I've got all saves enabled. That's because just purely because I have game crashes and that occasionally. First of all, I thought that was because of the PS4 not overheating. Because for a while, I had it just kicking up a ton of sound, and I just the fans just going. It sounds like a jet engine, basically. Classic. PS4 jet engine sound, but no, cleaned out, stripped, well I stripped the top end of it out, took the top handle off and out, bit of osprey alcohol, microphone cloth and out, and like use of the toothbrush and out, and a cup of warm water, just give it all good and proper clean because, yes, it was gunked up, not gunked up, but it was clustered with dust and out, which makes sense because, one, I've got dogs and cats, and I smoke as well, whilst I'm recording sometimes. And yeah, over time, it will obviously get crap just building up on it. But you may that is the cows topped up. So yeah, it is 20,000 years of straw. And we can actually do it from this end, so that's good. So I'm thinking if we can put this somewhere over here. Don't want to get away off the side though because we're going to need to use that within the next couple of months. I think June or July is when we can sell the fill beans at its optimal price. Yeah, can we just back it up and put it in here? Somewhere out of the way. And yeah. There we go. Oh, look at that. Apart from a little bit of it sticking out, it's almost perfect. But yeah, so we can quickly look at the prices for the field beans and that. Just to confirm, so field beans, yeah, it is June. So 4,300 we're going to get, so that'll be interesting to see. Obviously, I will be here for a couple more episodes here, yeah, but there's nothing wrong with just keeping your options open. So yeah, what we're going to do now is get the potatoes planted, and yeah, we can cultivate. I was thinking, let's plow. Because that's what you do with potatoes, I think, is you more so plow it. I'm not saying that, we could cultivate it. Actually, let me see, let me get the cultivator out, and then we can see if we can ridge it. Because if we can... We'll do that because it saves us doing the stones. But saying that, how much stones do we have here? It's going to be a lot of stones, right? On 107. Oh, nope. Nah, it's just the new fills that's got stones in it. Like, absolutely peppered in it, so. Fair enough. So, yeah. Give me a few moments here. Whilst I'm going to get the cultivator and see. We can use that. So right, got the cold vigor from Field 88 because obviously we went and during the time lapse we've done and just got that cold vigor up. Was it the first time lapse or was it when I was doing all the mowing? But regardless, anyway, so let's go and just give it a quick test. So this one here has to be mulch. I can see the different in not so much the textures. I mean, it has been rendered, but we hasn't fully rendered in. See on the right, it's very light green, whilst here it's dark green outside the rendered area. So, we can drop it down. And there we go, we are cultivating. So, there we go, that's that. Now, I'll see. if this will work, so get this baby unfolded, and the thing is, we're going to have to do it in straight lines, of course, so that's not an issue, actually if Ferris could do it with a weight on this, but yeah, anyway, so we go and lower, and 
Lord's help, we forgot to turn it on because we didn't turn it on before. So, um, can we reach with this here? No, Sylvie's so calling me in. Fair enough. However, downside is uh, it's not. It's not going straight. It's going. Yeah, it's doing that. So. I mean, it's got to do it from like this going down. Fair enough. So, yeah, we'll deal with that in a few moments. Going to the last here, turn the beacons off. So, yeah, what we'll do now is we'll hop into the Massey, get this just cold vade up, and then, yeah, I think, yeah, just as a sort of preliminary off. Putting the potatoes in, or at least getting it prepped, getting the field prepped and that with the bridges. So yeah, let's get this done. And I'll see you folks once more in a few moments after we have done this cultivation. <music> Is the cultivation work done? And yeah, that should be interesting. Now we'll see if we'll get the rich markers. And well, we know we'll get them, but we'll be in a relatively straight line as much as possible. So for now, I'm going to dump this here. I know we've recently moved all the equipment back to Stainbridge Farm. However, we need some equipment here to get the work done. So that's attached to the John Deere, so we'll hop in there. So yeah, the plan's going to be get these down and then we'll start seeding the potatoes. So I think what we'll do is we'll do like a little test pass, I think. If I could do from this corner here to that corner over there, I think that'd be the more ideal one. Since we're having like, little issues so we can wait, let's see how the Massey would do. So I think what we'll do is we'll get the weight hooked onto this. I think it's a configurable option, but so it goes back it up. And as I said, we don't have to do this for potatoes now, or technically for the root crops. However, it's that little bit of realism to it and that, so. As well, I said before, I want to showcase the premium expansion, so... So, we need to go to... Oh, do we not have a option for weights? Nope, fair enough. I think there's a weight around here somewhere. So, right, we've got a 3.3 .3 ton weight, we've got the fence 3.3 .3 ton. 
actually just give that a little quick squirt. I know it's going to get dirty again in a few seconds, but at least I want to make it look nice and clean. So, there we go. That's the way it cleared up. So, yeah, all I want to do now is go and get us hooked up. But yeah, if we could do it directly across, then that'd be absolutely awesome to have. So, there we go. Hooked up. Make sure everything's all hooked. Seems so. So, yeah, so aim for down here. Lower it. Turn it on. And what am I doing? Nope, still the same as before. So, it looks like we're going to have to do it this way. Which. What's that? 90 degrees. So, I'm guessing we can do it in 45 degree increments. It's 90 degrees, which kind of sucks, but well, I guess <laughs> that's the way we're going to do it. So, and of course, I can go up and down normally, as I would do on this field. However, it will look rather wrong. Actually, I should look rather wrong now because there we go. Get the missile carriers here, sorry. There we go. Lift that up, turn it off. And yeah, with that weight on, that has made a huge difference for us, so. There we go. So we go keep it like this, obviously we should be first we shouldn't really be seeing too much because obviously in real life that would destroy the furrows. What's it called? Furrows? No. Is it hither or something? I already saw mention it before. Anyways, whatever it is, we will get this done. So yeah, let's do this top section here, and then we'll see where we sat with the potatoes, see if that works, because I want to do the entire field, I to realise, yeah, I want to realise that, yeah, it was not needed. I should do it now. So we'll leave that on here. That's why the reason I was saying about leaving this as a grass field then when we like maneuver around like this. It doesn't look as weird compared to if it was a crop or something. So here we go. Tap through. A little tractor that could. So potatoes load up, obviously you'll see, so Yeah, I just want to see if this works. Now if it works then off the job thing. Cut through there a sec. Do not see anything. So there we go. We'll lower it. Turn it on. And there we go. We are planting potatoes. Oh no we're not, are we? Get those ridges. Obviously, we shouldn't get that ridge there on the ends, but just having a look. So, nothing is rolled in. Just double check are we actually planting potatoes? Go to here. Ah, you can tell the texture is different, like where here it's a lighter brown, but when we get to the bits we've actually done, it's a darker brown. So, is that just me or what? That's different. That looks the same along there, but I guess it just could be a light, lighting issue, lighting thing. So, alright, 
Good thing to know with the potatoes. Doing the ridgers and that. Not needed. It only makes sense to do it, obviously, if we were planting stuff in the ridgers or in the little furrows and that, but since we're not doing anything. Dang, that means I'll have to cultivate all this again, so... Give me a sec whilst I just get this sorted, because, yep. Yeah, we'll cultivate this up, and we'll start fresh. And there we go again. Got the cultivating sorted, so... Our little mistake has been rectified. And... Working speed is 7 miles an hour. I can do this pretty much with any tractor now. I thought something like this, you know, using our little tractor here, or at least a little in comparison to our other stuff. And like, yeah, they didn't have view of this, like, it's almost like you're sitting in like a big old chair now, like, way bigger than you. Just this, like, is there a way to adjust the camera on this? So I'm actually not sure, actually. Note for what I can gather, but oh, anyways, I was going to just adjust the angle a little bit. Maybe that could be another thing for FS25. A bit more of a for, for its camera controls. Uh, well, actually, I'm not sure because we're technically in cab, so. I can't really adjust it when you're in cabin now. But yeah, I think, yeah, generally I do like to do is on the outside like this a uh, third person POV. Just makes life easier. I feel like I do chilling, doing the planting all one handed, so I think to end the episode here, let's do one more time lapse. Get all this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. As we are approaching 5 o'clock, just got on core 2, we are done with the potato planting on 107. And yeah, I was thinking about do we do more fields, but I think we're going to get so much potatoes from this. I think, in fairness, one field will survive. So obviously, you're planning on doing some sunflower in these fields, but do we do all sunflower? Because we can do also corn. Soybeans, but they require a long waiting period to sell. Sorghum, 
Long live, not doing crepes or olives. Or field beans. Now I ain't gonna do field beans, so... Yeah, it's gonna be a decision we're gonna have to make in the next episode. But anyways, I've gone and grabbed the John Deere because the bakery is almost out of milk and eggs. So if we have a look, go to our Productions tab. Yep, they're low on milk and eggs. They're going to run out of butter as well. Unfortunately, can't do too much about that. But when we get more butter coming in, we will transfer that over. Obviously, we'll make butter via the cookie factory. And any future milk we'll get, we'll go in there. But for now, yes, just go and haul whack this in here. So, let's go and get you sorted. go. 470 litres of let's get this hooked up. Have you got 7,000 litres? So yeah. Let's go and take this over to the bakery. Yes, I'm doing exiting the steps there. But yeah, the supply of bread and cakes are vital. We'll try to keep them all year round if we can. Pull down that poor little car there. There we go, just raise up so we can actually see. I think we do have some pallets of cakes and bread there, so actually what we can do is put them in storage. Finally actually having the use for the also also big cooperative pallet bell storage facility, so there we go. Careful, let's go full gonna have a head on collision then. Oh, wrong turn in. <laughs> Enter the field. No, no. Come on. Ah. Let's go this way. So let's just back this up. And yeah, this is a very tight area to get into. There we go. So yeah, first of all, we'll put the eggs in. There we go. And yeah, we got two pads of cakes. Along with some bread, so we'll go and just move them across. And pop them straight away. And I think that is pretty much all of it. We'll take this over. Get these sword away. There we go, and boom. So now we'll put milk in. Yep, and even this area is a bit tight to do a three point turn. I think really what we should do in the future is reverse it. Actually, that's all the milk there, so is it worth making bar? Sure, why not? There we go. But yeah, so that's where I think we'll <laughs> leave it today. So what I'll do is I'll put these in storage. The milk will be used to produce. Butter, we'll transfer that over. Also, what I'll do in between now and next episode is get all the other fields mulched. So yeah, I'll get them all mulched. And then next time, what we'll do is find the sort of ridging and seeding after the root drops. And that's going to be a huge episode. Yeah, I know there's going to be a lot of work involved and certainly a fair bit of time lapse within reason. Nothing more than usual. Oop. Yeah, nothing more than usual, but it's going to be a lot of work, I know for sure. But, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to go down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to it, then please consider. 
but for you to do. Hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's be far more Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.